Hey everyone, today I'm going to be swatching the Ayo Corali, I'm so sorry if I butchered that, and Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette. I wanted this for ages, but it sold out like instantly, but they restocked it and it's still in stock, so I wanted to get this up ASAP in case any of you guys were thinking about checking out this palette. So if you want to see swatches and my thoughts, just keep watching. So now that you guys have seen the swatches, let's talk about the palette. I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't know anything about her before this collab, but then I went to her page and she does really good makeup, so I ended up following her and I just really, really love the packaging. Like, this artwork is so cool. What really sold me is the color story and the highlighters. So, like, I love these shades the most. Like, these I have everywhere, but these ones are more a little bit more unique like I mean obviously I probably have them elsewhere in my collection but these are just so pretty I couldn't say no so this palette retails for around $27 Canadian which isn't bad as for US dollars and stuff I'm not entirely sure Canadian dollars is usually like a few dollars more than US so probably around like 25 maybe 22 something like that you get 16 shades so you get two highlighter shades hence why they are so much bigger and then you get the smaller shades i think on the box it does say yeah it says the net weight of the shades and i think the color story really complements each other i mean you have a nice variety of mattes and shimmers like the thing is about the highlighters is they'll look so good on like the inner corner or over other shades like I'm just so impressed. What I was saying is that I like that the white shade is like more of a silvery tone. I think that would go really well with all the pastel shades instead of there being a like white shimmer, if that makes sense, because I think that the highlighter and the other shimmer shade really like complement the palette as a whole. I'm a bright eyeshadow person, so this is me, and plus I love pastels. I did have issues with the Beauty Bay Pastels palette, so I am curious how these shades will work, but already they swatch better, so obviously swatches don't dictate how they'll work on the eyes, but I do know Beauty Bay's formula for the most part, especially the more bright shades, and I've had no issues, so I'm very excited to try this. This is what the highlighter coconut glow looks like on me. I apologize for my makeupless face. I'm in way too much pain to do makeup, but this is what the highlighter looks like. It's light enough for my pale skin, which is nice. And then I'll put the other one on the other cheek and we'll see. So this one is definitely more unique. It's one of those like bluish purple types. It doesn't leave a cast or anything, which I like. It's really, really pretty actually. I'm kind of in love with it. Here they are with flash. So this one is sweet candy, which yes, it is very sweet. And then you have coconut glow. I love them both. I did want to mention that there is some staining. The palette did swatch really well. I had no issues whatsoever, which is always nice. Um, I like doing swatches just because I like seeing the colors laid out together and seeing how the swatches are because while they don't dictate how they'll work on the eyes, sometimes you can tell and when I know a formula, usually I'm pretty good at telling when an eyeshadow is going to be really bad on the eye, but these ones all seem fine. I just think that this color story really spoke to me. I have hardly been buying any makeup because hashtag can't afford it. So I've been saving, but I saw this palette was back in stock and I was like, I really wanted this. So like I was so bummed when it sold out. So I'm so happy I was able to get it. I do apologize that I'm not going to be able to do an eye look in this video, but I'm honestly like, we're lucky I'm able to do these swatches at the moment. It's been a really bad time the past, I've been, I say that in every video, but honestly, like, the past, like, four months have been really, really bad, pain-wise and just life-wise, so we get swatches, <laughs> but still, I hope you guys enjoy this anyways. 
I'm really happy about this. There's been so many palettes that I've wanted that I can't afford, but luckily Beauty Bay is pretty good with keeping their palettes affordable. Now, I don't know about the states, but I live in Canada, and every time I order from Beauty Bay, I do have to pay customs. For this palette, I had to pay 11 bucks, which is kind of annoying, but I don't know. Usually it ends up being worth it, So I, but I go into it buying it knowing I'm going to have to pay like an extra 11 bucks depending on the palette, so it is what it is like it sucks but at the same time it's like whatever like i'll deal with it as long like it's not awful to be fair so i did want to mention that though so if you're canadian just know that you will probably have to pay like customs for me it's always 11 bucks i'm not sure why i think it's just because they go go off the price of the palette and the beauty bay palettes i've bought are all always like the same price so it's always 11 bucks but it's not horrible and especially because it's like 11 bucks canadian so it's not like it's ending up being more or anything as for how i would personally apply these i definitely think that you would want some sort of primer and typically for pastels i would recommend like a white base for these swatches i didn't use anything i never do so there's no primer or anything this is just on my dry arm and they swatched great my eyes are super dry so I would probably end up like moisturizing them a bit like the night before and then using probably like a mixture of like my ABH primer and then if I wanted to use the really pastel shades I would use a white base just to you know see how intense I can make those shades look but honestly I definitely feel like these shades would work good over primer. They could work by themselves too. I haven't had any issues before with Beauty Bay shadows not working because recently um, my eyes have been too dry for primer. So um, every time I've used like barely any primer, it still works. So I think it just honestly depends on what your preference is. And the pastels though, I'd highly recommend using a primer because I can definitely feel like, I mean, their pastels are supposed to be softer, but just to get an extra oomph if you want them to be a little bit more intense. Speaking of the pastel shades, I did want to talk about the yellow pastel. I honestly hate shades like this because they always end up looking crumbly and crusty on the lid. Like, and even just from the swatch, you can tell that it's probably going to do that. But the thing is that I love with these shades is I love using them to blend out like... Like that orange shade, I could definitely see doing like a sunset look and using that pastel yellow to blend it out. So like for me personally, I would use this in like the crease or the lower lash line. I wouldn't use it on like my inner corner or anything just because I feel like it would be very like chunky in a way. But again, I have dry eyes so I have to be wary about that. Um, and then the green shade I do love greens like this but it's the type of green that oxidizes so when you put it down sometimes the edges will oxidize really weirdly and especially when you use primer it'll oxidize so you just have to keep in mind that it might oxidize a bit and you might have to deal with a little bit of like darkness to it but typically you can make it work you just it's just a type of eyeshadow that you have to work it a little bit better as for the blue it's washed really well which is very promising blues like these i've found are really hard to formulate there's only been a few palettes that have done blues like this well and honestly this formula feels as good as those so i'm very intrigued to try using this blue i could definitely see myself doing like a purple and like a blue pastel sort of vibes and then using that in the outer corner i think that would be beautiful the like golden shimmer shade i actually really love this usually i'm not the biggest fan of like golds but this is my type of gold it's like a very very soft champagne -y type gold but it's really shimmery and fun and i love when it's a shimmery like shimmer i guess because like the silver one is kind of bland it's not really shimmery at all but this one is very shimmery i definitely think that would be a beautiful inner corner shade a lid shade i think it'll be beautiful the shade juicy is this like corally pink and i love shades like this so much it's my favorite type of shade and i literally only have one other shade like this in my collection so i'm very happy to have this one it's just my favorite type of summery vibe type of shade the hot hot pink pink gum is just it's yummy like it looks so vibrant and good again it's the type of shade that I'm in love with so 
I'm so happy I got this palette. It's really, really pretty. The orange is like the type of orange that I do enjoy, but it's nothing like special, so I'm not too worried about it. I have those shades elsewhere, but it does give me Halloween vibes. And like, you could totally do like a Halloween look with this, like use the green, purple, and orange. I feel like that would be like sick. And then you have the red, which it's just like a really bright red. It's called Mars, which can relate. I think that's perfect. But overall, this palette is just gorgeous, and I am so happy I was able to pick it up. That's why I wanted to get this video out ASAP, so that if any of you guys are interested, you can get it before it sells out. Honestly, Beauty Bay has a really good formula. I really do like them. I have lots of their palettes. I was really sad that some of them end up being limited edition because some of them are just so good, but you know, you gotta deal with that sometimes. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you decide whether or not you want to give this palette a go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, comment down below any videos like see me do, go follow my Instagram and TikTok, make it by Tasha X. Oh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.